I can't believe that just happened. Dude, that is amazing. I cannot believe that just happened. That is crazy. Howdy there, folks. What's going on? Brent here, back with another video. If you want to see how we just rescued this tadpole, click the link in my description, go to his channel, because we were filming a video for him, and I was like, grab my camera. This is crazy, because we've been looking for tadpoles. He was getting chased up by predator fish to the bank and got stuck on land and was going to die. And we ran over here and just happened to see him and got a bowl, and he's alive. So I'm going to bring him back to my pond where that other frog is, and it's laying eggs, so he can have a huge eat ecosystem because he's getting attacked in here. Take a gander at the size, at the size of this tadpole. He's a little beaten up uh, from getting chased around, but look how big it is. That could go perfect in the mini pond. Yeah. That is insane. All right, well, we're going to leave him in here. Keep looking in case there's any more getting chased up onto the bank and almost dying, but that's unbelievable. Look at that. A frog that still has a tail just got out of its tadpole stage. Yep. We just learned about tadpoles the other day. Yep. Back legs are barely starting to come. Yeah. Come in. Then, right. there's some other just sitting in the water. Yep. And see, so you can tell like this one's about to come out of land. It has yep. a tail coming in. It's a tail. I think there's one more in here too. Yeah, it's not often you see baby poison dogs. No, you really don't. Yeah, I'm assuming that that's a different type of frog. It's definitely a different. It has to be, right? But I bet you, <gasps> We're definitely gonna find more though. Not, not as long as the tail. See it, Max? Cool. And I touch it. Look at that. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, oh there he goes. I'm not throwing it. Pop him. There you go. There you go. Awesome, dude. You got him. You got him. I got him. You got him. I got him. Oh God, he's thrown. Got him. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. It's like a dinner. Oh my gosh. We saw this little guy jump and I was like, and then we caught a baby frog you guys saw. And what was crazy is we both thought, uh, me and Chris were both like, I think we stayed, he stayed here because we saw no mud go off. We low mold, shine light, see his eyes, came from the back. This is what we got, this massive, like I, dinner plate size bullfrog. Oh my god. Can I god. throw him back in? But here, squat down, Max, so in case you drop him, you don't hurt him, okay? Hold it. Put your hands around him and squeeze. Not there real tight. There, you, there go. you go. Look at that. Look, come here. Don't yes. squeeze him. Don't squeeze him. Hold him right there. Stop Stop moving towards me so I can get your picture, bud. We're bullfrog hunting, oh. and look what we have got. Max, look at this. That is crazy, right? Watch this. Pick cool him up and hold him, bud. Woo! Look at that big guy. Next day. Wow, here we go. So this is one I found this morning that I just wanted to show you guys that was in the pond. Um, so he's gonna go back in, but I wanted to show you guys him. This is the one we found last night. <laughs> okay, okay. Found oh, that one's gone. This is our tadpole that got a little bit beat up, but hey, let's get this one in first. You will like this, you're not gonna get eaten in here. So there's a bunch of bullfrogs in here. Hopefully that guy gets much better because you can see he's definitely beat up, but there you go, homie. Tadpole's in. We'll do small, but actually very large bullfrog, which is this guy. Like they're all, I have multiple ones this size in this pond because they love it so much. I don't know why. So he can, oh, and he's gone. Okay. And then the grand finale. Here is the big one. This one's like the size of a dinner plate. Yeah, oh yeah. He's huge. huge. Okay. All right. Well, you get a new home. <laughs> oh gosh. And oh, there he is over there. New home, chilling. Oh, he's gone. Look at him. Yep. Already found him a place to hide. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed all that cool frog footage and all that stuff. It's actually about five days later. And me and Nate, <clears throat> we went fishing last night and we went fishing just a little bit ago. And it was pretty interesting. It's kind of a little bit more vlog style. So enjoy. Well, Nate has caught a fish. Smile. <laughs> Last time we were here, caught a lot of fish. Today, not. <laughs> we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna go to Bass Pro. And then we're gonna go fishing in the morning. This is fish number five on the day. You're not big. That is clean. This one is smaller than the other two I caught, but it fought like a big one. It's got spots all over it. Yay! It's starting to do better. Not really, but yeah. Another solid two pounder, fourth fish. And that chatterbait. It's crazy. I'm starting to do better on a chatterbait. Still not as good as the other day though. But let's get a dump release on it. It's pretty dope. <laughs> um, we're gonna get the fish. Oh! 
fucking idiot. I can't really reel. Oh, he's big. He got up. I couldn't reel because my line was stuck. No. That was like a three or four pounder. Was four. Bro, he, was, he just destroyed. I was just sitting here casting and talking and a four pounder jumped out of that tree and blew up on my frog. But my line was stuck at the tip of my rod and I couldn't reel. And he just jumped off right there. After I depressingly lost a big one on a frog, Brenton took my chatterbait and hooked into a fish. It was a good fish? Oh, oh, it is a good fish. Looks about like the size of the one that jumped off my frog. This is a freshwater fishing. <laughs> Wait, let me do a clean thing. Oh, oh, I become a video expert. I don't know if Brenton's told you guys, but I'm like the goat of videoing now. Ready? Oh. YouTube's not gonna like that, Brenton. It's, it's okay. We just got to a new spot we've never fished before, and Brenton jumped out the car and started using a frog, and they are starting to blow up on his frog. A turtle. Oh my gosh. That is no turtle. You caught a giant. That is not a turtle. Well, I turned off the camera for a second so I could start fishing, and Brenton picked up a jig and caught. How does this happen? You said, what do I have? It's like a small dinosaur. <laughs> oh, he tried to bite me. Oh. Well, that was crazy. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was the hardest bite I've ever gotten. And it was a ma massive turtle. Whoa. This is this is pretty weird. I was gonna say I saw I saw a flash. I just Yeah, literally right as I threw a chatterbait, maybe some grass over there. And right when it hit the water, the little dude jumped up and grabbed it. This is like our first fish of the day because we missed about 20 earlier blow-ups on like earlier in the day, but Brenton caught that turtle. Turtle. And then we caught a bunch last night. Ooh. Okay. It's a pretty decent fish. Why would they miss me? Yeah, and I just got bit too. Nothing bad, but you know, a fish is a fish. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of like side segment and the wind. I'm so sorry, the wind is awful, but cool. Nice, nice bass. That was crazy. Kind of just jerked the chatterbait twice right here in front of me. And I watched him swim up from under it and hammer it just now. That's kind of crazy. Alright. On the bank. Call it in. I just got bit and then they caught one as I had a fish, so I had to kind of let go. But right as I was saying, I think there's a few more fish. The last two fish I caught was slowing the chowder bait down and jerking it and letting that blade kind of flash down a little deeper, right in the top of the mouth. These aren't huge fish. Not a bad one. They're healthy. I don't like this one. I haven't fished here in over a year. Last time I had a gallon of Kool Aid. You go back and find that video. Woo! Moved spots a little bit down the pond. Another one on the. He's mowing the lawn! Yeah! All right. Anyways, I don't know if look we're at, supposed to be here or not, much it comes but we're here. Right I like how Football. it comes back arches more. Kind of cool. Nice little, nice little fish. Really healthy. Green Texas bass. One more guy. Woo. Britton just lost, launched the chatterbait all the way across that grass. Hooked up on one. Bass number seven at this pond. Plus we caught six last night. Hey. We caught nothing but a giant alligator snapping turtle earlier yeah, we today. Caught, we caught a big turtle, and uh, now we're catching, now we're catching bass. We have big like one, like ones like these, but ten times the size in my pond. So that's pretty cool. All right, Betsy, we're getting in. <laughs> Woo! Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed all of that. The ducks are all doing really good together, which is amazing. I mean, they're also kind of making the pond really dirty, so I think I'm going to take them out real quick and get them back in there because they've been in here all day long for like, I don't know, five or six hours. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to go subscribe to Chris, you can do that in the link in the description. Also follow his Instagram. Also go give Nate a follow on Instagram. Big thanks to him. He leaves to go to college soon. That's not, I mean, it's, it's gonna be really depressing. We were just talking about that. <clears throat> but I mean, like in a year, year and a half, I moved to Florida also. So, I mean, a bunch, a bunch of stuff is going on. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you liked today's video, click the like button, subscribe if you're new. If you have any videos, ideas, suggestions, comment them down below. Literally, look out, there's like a little family. Hello. So with all that being said, I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.